Hi everyone, right, I'm just here because at the moment I'm having a little play um, so with some of the new trim, well they're not new trims, the new trims in the shop because uh, I've not had them in for a while but they're not actually new trims and I've had all of these before apart from that one <laughs> actually I think I've had that one before so I've got some of these little flower things I don't need all of these, I'm just cutting some ready and I'll bag them up later. So I've got some of those flower centres. I've chosen some more roses, the large roses. These are back in shortly. See that's inside the enamel so I won't use that one. Some tiny pearls and some bling. I've also got some of these. These are the earrings I sell and they're so easy to take apart. So we'll just take the backs off, take them out the thingamabob, whatever they call it, packaging. And then what you do is you take your pliers, hook that up, grab that, and then just peel that off. Show you again. So it's that, hook that up, grab that. Peel it off really, really easy. And then the back bit that goes into the ear, you just snip that off. And it's as easy as that. And you've got your flower centres. Now, um, what I'm going to do, if I can, I want to alter this. If I can do it. It doesn't always work. But you take that out, the centre, the centre bling, there we go, like that, and never waste those because those goes in, in the pot, um, I have a, a little pot full of them, so they're always handy if you want to put one back in somewhere, I, I've got some ribbon as well. Uh, but for these, now what I'm going to do is to put pearl centres in them. So, um, I need to look for a pearl. Oops, and there's it. Oh, and I've also got some doilies I might use up. So let's just have a look. Oh, look. Beautiful, 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 beautiful pearls. Now, if I don't want all of those in pink I should have some in like a beige or a biscuit colour but I think I'll just use the pink ones for now I like pink and cream and they're ideal size and they just pop back in so let's have a look I'm not sure what which glue, which... Mm. I think we'll use the... Oh, I can't get the lid off that one. We're going to use the E6000. All you do, pop the glue in there. Pop the lid back on. Don't get that on your hands if you can help it. If you do, wash it off straight away. And pop that on that, and you've changed them straight away, and they're going to look fab. So right now we'll just let those dry, put those to one side, threaded the needle, move that so I don't stick myself, and I've knotted it. Now I'm going to take this lace. This is it's beautiful soft cotton eyelet trim, and it's really really pretty level that off of course um, if we do 6 12 about 14 inches of that that should be plenty for a nice gathered flower so I'm just going to start and sew that I know everybody goes Woo, you're using black thread fee only because you don't see it when I've finished <laughs> and it's easier for you lot to see it on film I hope I'm 
There we go. Now you watch this real coming when I'm filming. He's been sat in there watching TV. I've just been doing some orders. And I bet you ten to one he pops his head in. If he doesn't want anything and he's just doing it to annoy me, I'll yell. If he does it and asks me if I want to brew, I'll say yes please. <laughs> There we go, really nice ruffled flower. Oh, I can hear him getting nearer. <laughs> he had to have um, a full medical the, um, last week, so he went back today for all the results. And thankfully everything was fine so just tuck that in like that and pull that tight you must use a, a strong thread I mean I use this one <clears throat> it's um, like a canvas one uh, for when I say canvas for darning canvas on um, when you're sewing canvas material so it's really really strong and then all I do is flip those back Sometimes I sew them, sometimes I don't, but nine times out of ten they don't need sewing. And you still get the same professional look. And that's my stomach. Not that I'm hungry, I'm not. I've not long had something to eat and it's playing up. <laughs> so, look at that nice full flower. Beautiful. Uh, and then what we're going to do, I think, I might layer this one. And I'm going to pop a little doily on there. And I've got these, which I love. But do you know what? I might just do this. Let me just check. And then if I put another layer, yeah, I'm going to do that. Because the centre of that flower is pink. So I'm going to layer this. Really, look, it's beautiful, isn't it? And then we need to do another layer, and I'm going to choose this one. So I'm going to need six, 12 inches of that, which will give me a nice ruffle. It's already ruffled, but you know me, I ruffle them up a bit more. So anybody who's not made a flower before, look what I'm doing. It's simple, it's easy. Um, and if you do it with a fullness in it, it will look far more professional, uh, professionally made. And besides that, they look much better. They look much nicer, especially if you're making uh, shabby sheet ones, which this is what this is. And the best thing about flower making is layering. Fullness and layering. And I've said it for years. This is how I've always made my flowers. And it's nice to see so many people doing this uh, exactly the same now. So we're getting to see some awesome flowers out there. Uh, only those that's watched me doing it. I'm not on about anybody else who does it. It's not uh, something new at all. But my, I have a, a particular style of flower and people can see when they're mine or like the ones that I do. It's going to be really ruffled. A lot of gathering this one. But then we'll get the deepness in the middle.
Okay, so now all we're going to do is gather that up. See the ruffle in this one? Beautiful. Put the two ends together. And anyone can make these, anybody. Pull that tight. really tight the ruffle on this one snip that there's enough ruffle in there I do not need to um, put the ends together on this one there's that much ruffle in it it's they look more like a rosette now see that beautiful isn't it Somehow, I don't know what's the matter with that, but it's, uh, there we go, stick that on there, mate. So, oh, glue sticks, I always run out when I don't, shouldn't. <laughs> right, so we're going to put that in the centre next. Like that, oh yes. That's really pretty. I think he's made a drink, so I'm not going to shout at him if he comes in. <laughs> and then, I think we're going to use one of these, yes. That's a nice layer. Now, do I want one of those? That's beautiful. One of those, stunning. Or one of those, fabulous. Or a little one like that, gorgeous. And I think I'm going for that one. Yep. So that's what I made it for. Now, there we go. And then what I've got is some of the, this. I absolutely love using this on my projects. And I've, uh, I think I've sold out of it now, but I will be getting it back in on Sunday. And then what I do is I, I'm going to lift up that layer and pop this in. So you lift up the frill and just pop that in there like that. I'm going to trim this one down a little bit, but I'm going to add a little bit more to it as well. So, I'll just tuck that under there. Because you don't need much. Oops, my little pearl's gone astray. Ooh, silly old. Fifi. Right, that off quick. I like the two pinks in there. And let's see, I may have... Oh, that's a nice one. See, that's too big though. But I do like that, that's quite vintagey. I think I'm gonna, I'm just filming. Cheers. Tara. I think if I have that there, I'm gonna trim that one down. Like that and pop that back in the basket because I can make that into a new one. <coughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it here. A lot of people ask me, um, what do we use stick pins for? Well, basically, they are just decoration. You can put them on a headband. You can pop them into your uh, on your bags and things like that. Yes, I like that. That's beautiful. I keep knocking that pearl. Look, I've knocked it out altogether now. You nana, Fiona. Yeah, pop another one in there like that. That'll do for now. I'll retrieve that one. Some. Hang on a minute. Hello, my dear. Hello? 
Hello. Hi, honey. I'm just filming, so you're joining in. Oh, right. hi, everybody. Yeah, are you, are you all right? Yeah, I just. But... <laughs> you look so tired. <coughs> just not very well. She's not very well, is Wendy. She's uh, got a bad cold. But I'll say hello to everybody anyway. You will do, yeah, and that we can. You should be able to hear you. <laughs> right. Um, I've just made a flower, my dear. So I need to put something on the back, like a bit of felt of some sort. I'm gonna get some. Um, let me think. <laughs> Do you know I'm not going to? I'm gonna put one of these on. Why not? Oops. Just gonna pop one of those on the back. What sort of flower are you making? Oh, I'll show you now. Um, shabby. Ooh, that's nice. That's pretty. Pink yeah. and cream with gorgeous. the new laces. Mmm, nice. That's gorgeous. So, Perfect. yeah. So, there you go. That's the new one. Uh, it's not a new one. I've done this one many times. Yeah, I was just got my things out to play with and I thought, oh, come on, let's do a bit of this. I like my flower making, as you know. Yeah. Um, mm. and, uh... I do sell them on Etsy if anybody wants to know, so uh, you'll probably find that one on there. Okay, really pretty. It's stunning. One down, 20 to go. <laughs> <laughs> I've just shown people how to dismantle these uh, bling earrings and what I did, I took the middle out and put the pink pearl in and it was easy to do. Oh nice, cool. Um, and I'm gonna go back for more of these because at that blooming price, can't beat it, can you, really? I'll be sending you a, with another shopping list for next week. Oh, 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 wait. There were loads there I could have got, and then I thought, well, will it or won't it? Will it or won't it? And I'm bloody sorry. I, yeah, I knew it would. It will. <laughs> There's a lot of bling people out there. Yeah. A girl can never have too much bling. No, me. I know. But, um, like I say, they're just easy. Flip it up and pull that. I oh, see some go and some don't. The other two, oh, there it is, it's gone. Dead easy, that one. There are the other ones. <laughs> so I've just pulled that back and pushed that back into place. And there, I'll leave it like that. See, that one came off really easy. So, yeah, I just thought I'll come on and talk to myself. <laughs> oh, I might as well mm. I've done everything I was supposed to I found a little diamante so there's one somewhere is it off the other one that I've just done I don't know no I don't know where it's come from but where it's not want not in the pot it goes oh yeah I have a pot that I put little bits in I've got oh tiny tiny wee diamantes I use let's save Right, I'm just going to make the others up now, and I think I'll make some with roses. This, I have to tell you, Wendy, I will be sending you some laces down, right, with your bling. All right, right? Um, which will, And there's some more metal work as well. All right, cool. Um, but this trim, the cotton eyelet, yeah. is so super soft. It's lovely for flowers. Very nice for flowers. Brilliant. Oh, this is the one I'm going to try now because I've done that one. So I'm going to try that. And this one's gorgeous. It is like a crocheted lace, but lacy lace. Oh, that's nice. Mm. So let's have a look. Six, uh, 12, and about 14 inches per flower. That's how much I like to use. So, yeah, I'm just in the flower mood. <laughs> <clears throat> and Raymond's just brought me a nice cupper in. Oh dear, oh my son just made me mince and pasta. Oh bless him. Yeah, not Toby. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant Toby will be. No, 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 no. Well, that is a bit too adventurous for Toby. But, uh, no, the other one, because he knows, knows I'm not very well, so I think they're... Uh... Oh, they're run rallying round. Yeah, they are, yeah. Good. So they should. Mm -hmm. How long did you do it? How many years? Oh yeah. Still doing it. <laughs> well, we do, don't we? Let's be honest. I was going to go down to my son's tomorrow to see the girls. 
Oh, all three of them now. Oh. And kick my son out with his missus. Oh, nice. And make him go out for an hour. Because mm. I bet they've not had time to themselves since baby were born. Mm. So... I've never had the uh, pleasure of um, ha ha buying baby girl clothes. Well, I know she's got loads to be... I mean, I've bought it enough. I'm not going to buy any more now till I know she's about three to six months because it's so it's fast, silly. It? Yeah, I mean, they're like new when you end up um, selling them out at something. I've told her, I said, any hey, I've bought her, just sell them. If as long as they're in good nick, sell them, pass them on, whatever. Do not throw them away, for God's sake. And I said, I don't think anybody else would mind if you got rid. What you could do is... Sell what you've got when she's grown out of them and use it to buy your next lot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it does. Three months isn't long. Mm -hmm. I just need one of mine to have a girl, a grand girl. Well, it wouldn't worry me what they had, but... Uh, it'd be nice. Yeah, like, it'd probably get sport rotten, get her. <laughs> well, I know the girls are spoiling the sister. Yeah, they calm down a bit now. No, Billy May's not. She can't stop holding her. She, she just wants to nurse her. But she's right motherly. Oh. Right, I'm just... going to so look after her. She's getting older. Oh, I know. Well, I just hope they do, and it's not just a novelty. No, I think they will. The thing is, she's not making any... I mean, if she was crying her head off, they'd be shouting hell. <laughs> <laughs> and our poor guy, um, our poor Deacon and Ethan, their new baby, you know, their sister, Isla, she's never stopped crying since she was born. She but she's that uh, lacto lactose intolerant or something. Yeah. Well, so was Bo, the uh, other sister, and so was our Ethan. Yeah. And, and they were crybabies. Yeah. I um, When I was a baby, I, I can't, I don't have milk now, I still have black coffee or whatever. Yeah. And I used to have to have... Um, Canned milk when I was a baby. Yeah. Because I couldn't have um, normal baby milk or... Well, I think, you know... Um, I don't know what it is uh, Gemma feeds the little uh, Isla. I'm not sure, but... It is a shame that it's um, like that for her. Because they even he's... You know, um, Nathan... Mm. Even he's not being able to... I mean, sometimes that's to sleep at his mother's so that he gets some sleep. Because mm. he works... He's a paramedic. All right. So he works late, you see. Mm. And, of course, the minute she wakes up, she's crying. She cries through the night. I don't know how she sleeps herself. Oh. It would drive me nuts. I would have committed Annie Carey by now. <laughs> <laughs> but then Sean was a crying baby from the time he came home from hospital. <laughs> he just didn't like being touched and... It was terrible. Yeah. Well, my new granddaughter, of course, loves being held. Yeah. And they don't, she don't even wake up to be fed. They have to wake her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she's straight back in Noddy land. <laughs> so she'd better be awake tomorrow when I go see her. I'm going to have to go during the day as well and catch up with her, so... Oh. But they have a pizza tomorrow? No, fish and chips tomorrow. Oh, yeah, that's right, I remember Do that. Do you know what? So what have we had? We've had... Um, McDonald's last week. McDon was it McDonald's? Yeah, McDonald's last week. The week before was... Kentucky. Kentucky. The week before that was pizza. The week before that was pizza no but it was uh, Kentucky then the week before that was the pizza the week before that was them salads and that that I bought the week before that was the hot dinners uh, for microwave dinners sick <laughs> <laughs> I've told them they've got to have a healthy he healthy meal and they went why Nana it's the only time we get spoilt when you come But they do eat um, takeaways and that. And I mean, Donna does cook, though. She's very, very good at cooking. She always makes sure they get a, a really good meal down. them. I don't know, and once a week, I don't think, you know. No, nah, no. Nana's treat, you know. 
Well, that's it. That's my it's my treat night for kids. Oh, and I think next week I'm just going to take them out. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you're going to go for your, your meal. Is it to the... Where you took them last time when they had the big ice cream. Yeah, it's a local pub thing that they have um, an, uh, nice meals up there. I like the meals there, but... Uh, and the girls love being out. And it'll just... Um, you know, try to think of... I can take them for a couple of hours and let Donna and Gary have some special, you know, time. Yeah. yeah. I know they've got other family members, but I'm not... I haven't spoke to her, so I don't know if she's uh, managed to grab any time to herself. Mm. I know when I had all of mine, I just needed like an hour. Yeah. Every 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 other day, an hour to myself. Yeah. And you know it's funny because when the kids were growing up, we always made sure that Ray and I had a week away, one week a year together without the kids. Mm. So they were well looked after. Mm. They used to go to my sisters and that, but um and used to give her money to treat them and whatever. But yeah, we used to go um, one week a year just to make time for us. And I don't think it's being selfish. I know some people think it is, but it's not. No, you're still like people. Sometimes you can get caught up into no longer being, you know, you're such and such as mum or such and such as, you know. I know, happy. yeah. So it's just nice to be an individual again and not have to worry about... Yeah. It's nice to wind down. Yeah. I don't know if I've had my hands under camera or not. <laughs> Sorry if I've not, but I'm just getting tucked into my flower making. Mm. Loved that one. Right, so now what we do is we take that one and we pop that over there like that. I think I'm going to do that. I'm not sure. Do you know, I've got like a... See, I like that. It's a bow. Yes, that's pretty. I think I'll do that. Just put a little bow in there. That's a nice name for a girl. What? Bo. That, our Gemma called her little and Bo. B, B. B O. I mean, not B O. Well, you know, B. B E A U? Or? No, B. B O E, she's called. Bo. B O B? B O E. Oh, I thought you said B O B. I thought that's Bob. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's so pretty. I don't know if that's correct there. Isn't that gorgeous? So we're going to slap some of this uh, bits and pieces on it. Like I say, I absolutely love using this. Did you want any of this picking up? Oh yeah. I'll shove that in there. Just get glue everywhere. Right. Snip off the odd bits I don't want. I don't want it too long. I'm going to pop a little bit more in because I do like quite a bit of this. How's uh, Ray feeling with his cold? Um, man flu. <laughs> yeah, it is man flu, I'll tell you. <laughs> it's all right, my word. You know what they say about men when they've got a cold? Such babies. Yeah. Right, oh, see, I've put that there. Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Now, I've got to see if I can find something to go with that one now. I've got this one. Oh, I like that one. Um, 
I think we'll just pop that in there, push that further down, upside down that, and then I'm just going to put another one of these on. I'm going to be really morbid now. I've decided when I pop my clogs, I want my casket covered in bling. <laughs> <laughs> Bling and lace. Bling and lace. Yeah. I want the inside doing in lace. Just bling all over it. <laughs> well, they're going to burn the bloody thing for me anyway, so I won't bother. Yeah. I'll just buy myself a satin sheet ready. <laughs> Tell me to pin that in. That'll do me with a cushion. I'll make my own cushion to go in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Send me away on my, on my own handmade things. Oh, that'd be cool. Anyway. Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Petal. So there you go, that's that one. And that's another one for the shop. Ooh. Yeah. I just like making flowers. Now, let me see. I'm going to choose these cream ones. Let me see what I can do with these. So if we fold them, no, I'm going to change my mind and we're going to um, cut them in half. Oh, I've cut the doilies in half. Because they're quite thick of these doilies. Did you start your book? Oh, you've not been well, have you? Not today, no, but oh. I'm tomorrow. I'm hoping tomorrow. Uh... Sorry, I forgot. No, no, no. Right, and then I'm going to take another one of these, use that as a base, and then what we do with these is we fold it in like that, so it's double. Glue the back. And pop that on there. I want to do it in between that. Don't worry about this bit because you could just pop a bit of glue there and pop a little bit of glue there. Okay, so you fold it on top of each other like that. Pop the glue there. Just do a bit there and a bit there. And then put that onto the next bit. You've got strong winds or something. No, because I'm hot. i got my fan on. Oh, right. Is that well, you can hear it, can you? I can hear something blowing. Yeah, it's my fan, because I'm, I'm really hot. Have well, you got a temperature, lady? I think so. So, we've got that. Old lady flu. <laughs> Old lady's flu, you nana. Flu, like that. Lady. But I'm going to really bring that out again and do another layer. So again, we'll fold that. And I'm going to do it in between again. Like that, just to alternate the where they are. Like that. Oops, a daisy. And then the last one will go here. Leaves me with a couple more, but it doesn't matter. I can make butterflies from that. That's got a nice thickness to that flower. Um, and to that, hmm, I could if I wanted to just put one of them in. I don't want to. I'm going to add a little bit of lace, I think. Just a touch, methinks. Just got enough to do one. You want to roll? 
I'm on a roll, lady. <coughs> I better daddy up before it runs out as well. <laughs> no, in my luck, it will. So I'll try and get this done. If not, I won't be coming back to do another pack. Cause I'm just playing here, so... Um... <sighs> If I had to tell you what, I'll turn it off and turn it back on because this has to go through the programme anyway. So it'll, uh, I'll just join it together, it won't matter. Drink my coffee, dear. Do you know which are the best flowers I like making? Apart from the satin ones, because I love those vintage ones with the pearls. Um, I love making those where you just use your scraps up because you can end up with a beautiful flower. What day is it today? Is it? It's Monday. Do you know I lose track of time because I'm not at work? It's Monday. <laughs> I have to think about it though. I know. The hem on this is, uh, or the edging on this is quite stiff. So I'm going to force the needle through some material to easy but this is quite thick because the lace is thick itself <coughs> right and again another well gathered flower I hope I sleep better tonight yeah, yeah I'm going to take a couple of those you know, the sleep haired ones. Purple Yeah, because I need to sleep. There we go. That Look, that's flattened out straight away. That's really almost perfect, the amount of lace you need in these. When they flatten out like that. Okay. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Not sure if I want that or I want bling. I love the bling in them. So we'll go for bling. So when you pop that down, that lace comes up. Gives it a bit of depth. Like that. And then, like I say, just add a bit more of this. that underneath just trim that one off there's a bit more I can use this one this will do Just pretty, like that. Um, and then if I've got another one, which I'm not sure if I have. Ah, the one I made. Do you remember when I made it using the trim? That's perfect. Just perfect. Nothing on it but that. But I can, if I want. I know, I like it like that, that's perfect. 
Right, so that's it. That's another one done. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Say goodbye, Wendy. Bye, Wendy. See you soon. Bye-bye for now. Yeah.